Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to another video in our JavaScript series and just a quick reminder, please go ahead and have a visit at learncodeonline.in. I post a whole lot of content there. Now moving on this video, there are a couple of things that we still need to talk about operators, nothing much but a small one. Also a big reminder that in some of the upcoming videos, I'm going to catch up with the videos which are just pure theoretical. I know you don't like them, but it's necessary to understand in detail and depth part of the JavaScript. So be prepared for that one. Okay. If you do remember, let's just say we have these selling prices and listing prices. I told you in one of the last video that I can go ahead and uh, create a variable, something like a result. And this result is going to be a comparison that my listing price is actually greater than the selling price. So whatever this holds up there, I can go ahead and run this one. So console.log and this gives me a true or a false value. We have seen this one already. I'm just writing it again. Let's go ahead and run this. So there we go. It gives me a true value. So I told you in the earlier video that there are some very limited data types that we're going to study. Like what kind of data it can be. Is it a string? Is it a number? Or is it a true false or a Boolean value? For that, we can actually write a keyword. It's not, it's, it is actually a keyword, but it is more over an operator. And the name of the operator is actually type of. So as soon as I just write this one that give me the type of the result, it's not going to give me actually the value itself, which is true in this case, but rather it's going to give me what data type it is. And here now we get the Boolean here instead of the true. And this can be applied for anything. You can just ask it the data type for these uh, numbers. You can ask it data type for strings or any other. So in case you're confused at what kind of data I'm holding up, this is one of the classic example of finding that out. And you might be wondering what other operators are there just like equal plus minus. And also we're going to discuss a little bit on these parentheses that why these parentheses are there. Their operator precedence is 20, but why 20? And this is a common question that comes up and sometimes in the mock test of companies as well. So you should be aware of these things as well. Let's go on to the direct documentation of Mozilla. And I'm going to actually copy this link and we'll save it inside this one so that you can have an idea. I'll paste it up as a comment at the very end so that you can actually take a look on this whenever you get these exercise files. Okay. Now here we are on the operator precedence page on Mozilla Developer Network, which is one of the excellent resource and you will be, we will be spending a whole lot of time here. Now notice here on the very first example, we say console.log and it says three plus four multiplied by five. Again, a classic cake example uh, where I would never like to do such things. Here it is pretty simple to understand that we are gonna get a three plus 20. So obviously the multiplication according to the baud, baud mass rule, uh, however you say that, uh, we get these precedents here. According to me, this is a horrible way of doing the things. Rather a good way of doing the things is use a pair of parentheses here and then just go ahead and move forward like that. So again, it depends on you how you want to do that. But importantly and interestingly is that these things actually change their order and everything goes with their precedence. So if you'll scroll it a little bit here, you're going to find a table which is having the precedence here. And my bad, it was not actually 20. It is actually 21. Sorry, totally my bad. So the operator precedence of the grouping or the parenthesis is actually 21. You don't need to remember the name, but having an idea which one is getting higher precedence value, which one is getting lower precedence value is a good thing in general. So right now we can see that parentheses are like the top notch in the precedence order. So it's not going to mess up with your logic anytime soon. But in case you're using just these uh, addition or subtraction, here we have them. So they actually addition is having higher priority and then we have the less priority. So yeah, they are there bit shaky as well. Nobody remembers them. Let me be honest about that. But here is a quick list that you can talk about how many operators are there and how many types of things are there. I don't expect you to just remember all of it or to find out what everyone does this. But we have these like functional call optional chaining, which we are going to cover later on these question mark dot, which makes your life so much easier while handling the APIs. So these things are there just wanted to mention that yes, they are there. Now see this one here, which is a type of which we studied a little bit about that. And eventually we're going to see more such keywords and we're going to understand the language, its use case scenario later on. Right now, if you're going to click on this type of, you're going to see that what it does and a great example here as well, which is, which is really great to understand. But in some cases, these ones are not really great to understand. But definitely you can see that these are the data type I'm worried about as of now. So undefined, we have seen that. Null, uh, we haven't seen that much, but 
we will see that boolean numbers and then we are having strings so some of them we have seen some of them we haven't yet eventually they're gonna come so again i recommend you to spend a bit time on this page only i will recommend you some of these uh, documentation similar to this so that you can get more idea of that have some patience and spend probably 13 to 15 minutes on this website try to take a look at how these things are done how they are explaining that how things can be done don't worry about these uh, function part we haven't studied that yet but we will be doing that okay so quite enough of talk about that and the whole idea is just make sure you take a look on this uh, table here having the precedence and all of that i to be honest don't come back onto this precedence again and again i always use these parentheses but it's a good idea to prepare for a company interview or something to at least take a look up here. So that's it for this one and let's quickly catch up in the next one.